right guys this is Lego Man 2005 and as promised here's my review of the Transformers animated Blitzwing so uh, this is the tank mode very nice uh, it rolls has rolling wheels does that the turret can move and that has spring loaded features like that and pretty much a brick is what this tank mode is like it's literally just brick on wheels <laughs> with an extra turret on top so, uh, yeah let's get it into jet mode so what you want to do is flip these cannons around and then flip these panels up flip these panels up and then swing them out and then fold untap that and then fold this around fold this around and make sure that these are over the hands then come to the back, spread that, hold out the little winglets right there, and then come to the front, take your chest piece, bring it out, come down here, this is a little tab right here, hold out the nose cone, and uh, there you go, there's the jet mode, very nice jet mode. This is floppy because of its age, but, you know, you just gotta find the right sort of orientation that it won't flop over when you're playing with it. And since it has the tank treads, it can still roll as jets should. <laughs> uh, here's the front, has a nice Decepticon symbol right there. The wings have nice rivets right there. It has these little red paint apps. I do like how the um, tank turrets become the thrusters in jet mode. So, yeah, nice jet mode. So to get them in robot mode, what you want to do is uh, come down here, take these legs, pull them out. Come down here, open up this panel, pull out the heel spur, and then just pull on this, pull the foot out, put this panel back down, same on the other side, pull this out, get that out, inch that forward, bring the panel down. Got to raise up my camera, skin tall. Straighten them out, come to the back side, fold these back down, position these little panels so they're like that. Fold this, fold the turrets back into the tank config configuration, well I can't word, um, and then spin it around. And then come to the back here. Untab this, untab the arms, pull those out, straighten them out, and uh, lift those up. And I just like to fold these in and do it like that. And on the other side, just fold them in. And then come to the head, bring the nose cone in, fold that down, turn the head around. So and then close up the back. And there you go. There's the animated Blitzwing in his robot mode. He's a nice figure. Really nice figure. Uh, not a lot of loose parts. The only like really loose part that is back here on this one. It's just kind of floppy sometimes. But uh, yeah. He has a gimmick that he can change his face, so this is like the 
stern, tough face. You flip it over, and he's got the random crazy face. And then one more time, come on. Flip it over one more time, and he's got his cold, calculating, uh, I guess, stern face again. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's his gimmick and for articulation. The shoulders go out that far. He has a double bend. The, there's a swivel right here. The legs go kick that forward, that far, and go back that far, I guess. And then the knee can bend, and the toe can, the foot can tilt. That's it for the articulation. For closer up details, it's got these nice little, I guess, rivets, I don't know. Uh, it's got a belt around there. So look at his back. He doesn't really have kibble. I guess you could say these are kibble, but not really. You know? My favorite face to leave him in is the random face. I just love the random face. Yeah, so he's got this nice helmet sort of thing going. So uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, hope you liked my review of the animated Blitzwing and uh, see you later guys. Bye.